Have you ever noticed that movies seem to be getting darker? Not in terms of their subject matter, but in terms of their lighting. It seems like every year, more and more films are utilizing a darker, more shadowy aesthetic. But sometimes what you're seeing is so dark that, well, you almost can't see anything at all. So why is this trend happening? And what does it mean for the future of cinema? Well, one explanation for the prevalence of dark lighting in movies is the influence of technology. Advances in camera and lighting equipment have allowed filmmakers to create increasingly complex and visually stunning images. And many filmmakers are using these tools to create moody, atmospheric environments. Another possible explanation for the trend towards dark lighting in movies is the influence of genre conventions. In many genres, from horror to film noir, dark lighting is a key component of creating a specific mood or atmosphere. But while dark lighting may be visually striking, it also raises important questions about the impact of cinematic aesthetics on our experience of movies. Fans of the show showed their dismay, saying it was actually too dark to even see what was going on in the scene during the show. I'm not Steven Spielberg or Barry Jenkins. Right? I haven't directed anything, but in my opinion, if your intentional creative decision is that people can't see the TV show that you're making, then you're making a podcast, all right? Is the prevalence of dark lighting contributing to the sense of pessimism and despair in our culture? Or are we simply drawn to the visual allure of shadow and darkness? One recent example of this trend can be seen in the film Joker, which utilizes dark, moody lighting to create a sense of chaos and unease. The film, which explores the origins of the iconic Batman villain, features a gritty, realistic visual aesthetic that is heavily influenced by the works of Martin Scorsese and other filmmakers from the 1970s. Another recent example of the trend towards dark lighting can be seen in the Netflix series Stranger Things. The show, which is set in the 1980s and draws heavily on the visual language of films from that era, features dark, moody lighting that creates a sense of nostalgia and unease. The show's creators have stated that the use of dark lighting was a deliberate choice, intended to create a sense of foreboding and mystery. Some critics argue that the prevalence of dark lighting in movies and TV shows reflects a broader cultural trend towards cynicism and nihilism. By creating works that are visually dark and moody, filmmakers and showrunners are tapping into a sense of anxiety and disillusionment that's prevalent in our society. While the use of dark lighting in movies and TV shows has become more prevalent in recent years, it is worth considering how this style of cinematography is best experienced. Many filmmakers and cinematographers argue that the use of dark lighting is meant to be experienced in a movie theater, where the large screen and immersive sound system can heighten the impact of the visuals. In a theater setting, the use of dark lighting can create a sense of intimacy and tension, drawing the viewer into the world of the movie or TV show. However, in a living room setting, the impact of dark lighting can be diminished. The smaller screen size and less immersive sound system can make it harder to appreciate the nuances of the visual style. This may be one reason why some viewers find that movies and TV shows that rely heavily on dark lighting are less engaging when watched at home. Of course, the rise of streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime has changed the way that many people watch movies and TV shows. With more and more viewers choosing to watch content on their laptops or tablets, rather than in a theater or on a traditional TV screen, the impact of dark lighting may be changing. So as we continue to explore the role of dark lighting in movies and TV shows, it is worth considering not just the aesthetic choices of filmmakers and showrunners, but also the ways in which we experience these works. What does the future hold for the use of dark lighting in movies and TV shows? Will we continue to see a prevalence of shadow and darkness on our screens? Or will filmmakers and showrunners move towards brighter, more optimistic aesthetics? The use of lighting will continue to play a crucial role in shaping the mood and atmosphere of films and TV shows for years to come. 
When I'm in the spaceship, I feel like I'm shooting film for the first time, like I've, it's my first time being on a movie. And exploring this idea of darkness as well. Not darkness as a frightening thing, but darkness as an unknown. If it felt right, ultimately, we could be as wide as we wanted and as tight as we wanted. And I think this just added a certain level of scale and scope to it where we could ultimately be deeply personal and uh, deeply internal, but at the same time be massively observational and be able to step back from it all as well.